Okay, so this video is handheld. And I, anyway, so I was um, having weird, still having weird linkage issues, even though I replaced, uh, I pretty much replaced all the linkage. I replaced this piece here and uh, that piece there. Oh gosh, this really sucks now that I have to hand hold this thing. But anyway, and uh, a few other pieces, you know, including um, you know, the, the, this piece here with the, with the spring washer and the spring, and there's a bushing inside here. Anyway, so I replaced all of that, and I was still getting some, although it greatly improved, I was still getting some weird linkage issues. It just wasn't feeling tight. So I pulled off the transmission pan. And I see this, this right here, this bend. Yeah, that's not how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to look like that. Um, I uh, anticipated I had like some sort of weird problem like that. So I got a replacement one of these pieces here. And I also got a replacement one of these because I, I had been suspecting that the teeth on here had been worn to the point where it bound against this and caused problems. So, um, yeah, let's, um, let's take this thing out and compare it with the new part. Okay, so here I've got the new part. Um, yeah, and this is handheld, so I forget, so please forgive me on that. Here goes the group and part number of the new part. And uh, yeah, it's not hard to see the difference between the two. Sorry about that. Here we go. Whoops. <laughs> so, um, I don't know how I can help this to see it like that, maybe. I suppose so. Um, yeah, it's pretty obvious. This one here is um, way bent out of shape. I have a I think I know why. I'm going to do some more digging around before I actually uh, give my opinion. So obviously I'm going to replace it with this part. But I may take this. And yeah, this is spring steel. So I'll likely anneal this. Straighten it back out. And then re-harden it. Uh, rather, re-temper it. And then just keep it around. Um, because, you know, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Okay then. All right, boys and girls, I think I may have uh, discovered a, a likely source of my loosey goosey um, transmission linkage. Here's the part that I just pulled out of the T Turbo 350, and here is a replacement. This is from this is a used part from some some other place. Okay, so here you can see. Just looking through this, this looks pretty worn, and I noticed as I was taking this out, the nut didn't seem as tight as I think it should have been. Compare that with this, pretty obvious. Then we have the actual teeth themselves. You can see here, this has like a little aware with a lip on it, whereas this one goes nice and smooth over it. Uh, I wonder if this may have been con this may have inadvertently caused that spring to bend. And the rest of the teeth on here look pretty worn. We're on the other side, it's not. You can see. I don't know how well this can be seen, but the um, the teeth have actually worn to the point where. They are wider at the very top than the rest of the metal. Like here, for instance, there's a, um, yeah, yeah, this is pretty bad. When you compare it with how these teeth look, these look like, I would expect them to look from standard stamped steel. So, I'm going to put the new, uh, or the replacement piece in. Yeah, look at this. I can see that giving some problems. Compared to 
this. Let me do a direct comparison here. Yep. All right, so let's install the replacement piece and see what happens. All right, and once again, please forgive me for this being a handheld, shaky video. But all the parts are installed. And, yeah, all the slack is gone. And, um, dare I say, that uh, that completely solved my problem. Uh, nice to know that was something, uh, something this obvious. And, um, but... You know, the hassle nevertheless. So, there it is. Alright, this is now all buttoned up. Looks nice. Um, I use an ATP gasket and a filter kit. So, um, according to ATP, uh, the gasket's a dry gasket. I didn't have to put any sealer. But I did put some sealer on the threads of the um, drain, um, drain plug. Uh, it's just a little piece of insurance. Um, but you know what? If these, if the ATP gasket does start to leak, it's no big deal. I do have a Felpro gasket to replace it. Um, and hopefully it's another one of those things where it's better to have it and not need it, yet need it and not have it. So anyway, I'm going to go back, uh, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, go back inside the car and take a look. Um, see how well it works. And then um, tomorrow, I'll fill her up with fluid and maybe take it for a test drive. Okay. Now the transmission's all buttoned up. And let's see here. Oh, it helped if I... There we go. Ah, yes. And you can definitely hear the click, feel the click. My entire transmission linkage is completely tightened up. So my problem has been solved.